सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट द ऑडियो बुक पूर्वी टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ इंग्लिश फॉर ग्रेड सिक्स पेज नंबर थर्टी यूनिट टू friendship chapter 1 the unlikely best friends let us do these activities before we read 1 friends are an important part of our lives why do you think so share your ideas with your friends what do you do when you are with your friends and how do you feel Now complete the following sentences by writing in the shapes given below. Share your completed sentences with your classmates and teacher. One has been done for you. There's a picture shown in the middle of this page with two circles. The first circle reads as with my friend I dash. There are two blank spaces marked with two arrows. fill in these two blank spaces in the second circle there's a sentence written with my friend i feel dash there's an option written on the top of the circle marked by an arrow it reads happy there are two empty blocks marked by arrows fill in these two empty spaces Two, the title of the chapter is the unlikely best friends. A, what can be the meaning of unlikely? Discuss in groups and then discuss with your teacher. B, can you think of some unlikely friends? Share your answer with your teacher. Page number forty. On the top of this page, a picture is shown. in this picture an elephant is shown standing with his trainer or mahavat let us read part 1 gajraj the elephant lived in the best booth of the royal stables the king was fond of gajraj and he had ordered that the elephant should be well looked after in spite of royal comforts gajraj was sad because he had no friends the mahavat or elephant trainer was the only one he ever interacted with the mahavat was a kind man who served gajraj food and gave him a bath in the elephant pond daily he was a good caretaker but not a friend i wish i had a friend i can play with thought gajraj one late evening a dog strayed into the stable gajraj could see that the visitor was tired and hungry he pushed some of the food he was munching towards the dog the visitor wagged his tail looked up at the elephant to convey his thanks and then turned his full attention to the food in front of him as soon as he finished eating he fell asleep on the right hand side of this page some important words have been written with their meanings these are booth rectangular space stables living spaces for animals interacted with communicated with strayed which means came by mistake page number 41 The next morning the mahavat found the stray dog in the stable he did not mind the dog he also noticed that gajraj seemed to like the company so he threw some crumbs to the dog which the animal accepted wagging his tail when the elephant went out for a bath the dog accompanied his friend plunging into the water the elephant gave himself a shower using his long trunk as the dog watched the elephant took a trunk full of water and playfully splashed the water on his friend the dog yelped for he hated taking showers the mahavat laughed 
there are important words written on the right hand side of this page with their meaning munching means chewing wagged moved from side to side convey communicate crumbs small pieces of food accompanied when with someone plunging jumping in trunk long nose splashed threw yelped cried on the bottom of this page a picture is shown in this picture gajraj or the elephant is shown having a bath in the pond and also splashing water on the dog from his trunk page number 42 on their way home the elephant picked up the dog with his trunk and placed him on his back the dog was delighted to get a ride a farmer passing by saw the dog oi bunty he yelled the dog ran to him the farmer hugged the dog and told the mahavat that he was looking for his dog ever since he disappeared from his house he was glad he found him now the mahavat had no objection to the farmer taking the dog home the farmer tossed a rope round the neck of the dog saying come bunty let's go home there are important words written on the right hand side of this page with their meaning delighted happy hugged held closely disappeared was not seen let us discuss talk about the things that gajraj and bunty did together now write in the shapes given below one has been done for you on the bottom of this page a circle on the left hand side is shown with bunty and gajraj written on it there are four arrows pointing towards written and blank spaces in the topmost arrow the blank space is written with plate rest of the spaces are blank fill in these blank spaces 2 why did the farmer hug bunty 3 Do you think Bunty will leave Gajraj and go home with the farmer? Page number forty-three. Part two. Only when the farmer pulled the rope did the dog realize that he was being taken away from his friend. He yelped. The elephant winced. but neither the farmer nor the mahavat noticed that the two friends were in tears the next day at lunch time the mahavat served gajraj his favorite food when the mahavat came back after finishing his other chores he was surprised to see that the food had remained untouched new words and their meaning realize understand winced shrunk back in pain or distress chores daily duties on the bottom of this page a picture is shown in this picture the elephant gajraj is shown coming towards the dog with the farmer holding and patting his dog page number 44 why gajraj aren't you hungry he asked concerned the elephant did not react he may have slight indigestion let me not force him to eat thought the mahavat that night too gajraj did not touch his food nor the next day now the mahavat was worried he ran his hand on gajraj's tummy and felt there was nothing wrong why was he not eating then is he missing his friend that dog the mahavat wondered meanwhile at the farmer's house the dog had also not touched his food ever since he was brought home are you missing your friend asked the farmer remembering the happy look on bunty's face while sitting on the elephant's back i cannot see you go hungry 
said the farmer. If you miss your friend so much, go to him. The farmer removed the rope with which he had tied the dog. The dog, though weak, sprang to his feet. He licked the farmer's hand once and then ran. He stopped only when he arrived at the stable. New words on this page. Slight, a little, indigestion, upset stomach, tummy, stomach. Page number 45. The elephant picked up the dog with his trunk and gave him a joyous swing. The Mahavat was relieved. He quickly brought the food. Both of you eat first, he said. By then, the farmer who had followed the dog joined him. The two of them watched with satisfaction the two friends eating food. It's not only Gajaraj who has found a friend, said the Mahavat, hugging the farmer. I have also found one. <laughs> New words written on this page with their meaning sprang, jumped, joyous, happy, swing, move side to side or back and forth, relieved, thankful, satisfaction, happiness. This story is written by Subha Rao and it's taken from kathakids.com. Let us discuss. 1. Why did Gajaraj not eat his food? 2. Who were friends at the end of the story? Let us think and reflect. 1. Read the following lines and answer the questions that follow. A. In spite of royal comforts, Gajaraj was sad because he had no friends. The Mahavat or elephant trainer was the only one he ever interacted with. The Mahavat was a kind man who served Gajaraj food and gave him a bath in the elephant pond daily. He was a good caretaker but not a friend. 1. Complete with one word. Mahavat, kind. Gajaraj, dash. Fill in the blank. Page number 46. 2. The Mahavat was a good caretaker because he gave dash to Gajaraj and a dash in the pond. 3. What do you think is the difference between a friend and a caretaker? B. Are you missing your friend? Asked the farmer, remembering the happy look on Banti's face while sitting on the elephant's back. I cannot see you go hungry, said the farmer. If you miss your friend so much, go to him. The farmer removed the rope with which he had tied the dog. 1. The farmer uses the word dash to refer to the elephant. 2. How did the farmer know that Banti was hungry? 3. Why did the farmer remove the rope with which he had tied Bunty? 4. Complete with one word. Gajaraj is to Bunty. Dash is to farmer. 2. Give two examples to show that Gajaraj was very happy to have a friend. 3. How did the Mahavat came to know that Gajaraj was sad? 4. Why do you think Bunty licked the farmer's hand? 5. What was unlikely about the friendship of Gajaraj and Bunty? Let us learn. 1. Gajaraj was sad without a friend and when he met Bunty, he was filled with joy. Sad and filled with joy are opposites. Opposites can also be formed by adding some letters before a word. For example, un, unhappy, in, incorrect, dis, disconnect, miss, misuse. Now, take help from the words given as hints and fill up their opposites in the puzzle. Note, all the words are from the story you have just listened. 
page number 47. We are opposites. Across. 3. Unkind. 7. Yelped. 8. Awake. 9. Relieved. 10. Missing. Down. 1. Started. 2. Appeared. 4. Sad. 5. Untouched. 6. Hate. Now, take help from the words given as hints and fill up their opposites in the puzzle. Note, all the words are from the story you have just read. 2. Now, complete the paragraph with some of the words you have used in the puzzle. My pencil was dash. I was very dash as it was a gift from my friend. I woke up my elder brother who was dash on the bed. I told him that my pencil seemed to have dash. He dash and told me to look under my pillow. I was dash when I dash the pencil there. Page number 48 3. The words that tell us about an action are called verbs. In the story, the author tells us what happened before. To do that, the past form of the action word or verb is used. Let us learn about the three forms of past tense. There's a table shown on this page with three headings. Simple past tense, past progressive tense, past perfect tense. Used to show that the action had happened earlier. Second form of the verb plus add D or ED to the verb. Past progressive tense used to show that the action did not finish and was going on. I or he or she or it plus was plus verb plus ing. We, you, they plus were plus verb plus ing. Past perfect tense used to show that the action was completed. Had plus third form of the verb. Given below are some verbs from the story. Put the verbs in their correct column in the table given above. Was looking, was missing, was munching, told, had tied, looked, hated, went, asked, joined, gave, had followed, had remained, felt, arrived, had ordered, noticed, served, touched, threw. Page number 49. Select the correct form of the verb to complete the passage. Check your answers with the teacher. The farmer came back and dash. Noticed? Was noticing? Had noticed. That bunty was sad. He dash. Tied? Was tying? Had tied. Bunty with a rope the day before. He, dash, asked, was asking, had asked. Bunty, why he was sad. Farmer, dash, felt, was feeling, had felt. That Bunty, dash, missed, was missing, had missed, Gajaraj and set him free. 4. Neither the farmer nor the Mahavat noticed that the two friends were in tears. The words neither nor are used to state that the farmer and the Mahavat did not notice the same thing. Neither nor connect two negative choices. For example, neither Rohit nor I want to play football. When you need to choose between two things that you want, you may use 
either or. For example, Rohit wants to play either cricket or cocoa. It means Rohit wants to play cricket or Rohit wants to play cocoa. Discuss the given sentences with your teacher to practice. Neither Shikha nor Anuj like to tell stories. Either Bhavesh or Abha made this painting. Let us listen. 1. You will listen to a story about unlikely friends. Use exact words from the story to fill up the missing details in the paragraph. Refer to page 71 for transcript. The leopard is a dash animal, but it became a friend of a cow. When the leopard grew up, it left the village. It came in the dash to meet the cow. The leopard would sit, dash the cow. They also played together. Dash was surprised at their friendship. On the right hand bottom of this page, a picture is shown. In this picture, a cow is seen sitting closely with a leopard. Page number 50 2. Now listen to the story again and number the sentences in correct order. The first one has been done for you. The leopard stopped coming regularly. The cow took care of the leopard cub as a mother. The leopard came to meet the cow at night. The leopard left the village after growing up. In this, the cow took care of the leopard cub as a mother is sentence number one. Now, arrange the rest of the sentences. Let us speak. Gajaraj and Bunty had a wonderful time with each other even if they were unlikely friends. Talk to your friend and find out your common likes and dislikes. Share your answers with the class. A box is shown in the middle of this page. There's a circle in this box with the sentence written as both of us like and there are two blank spaces given below. On the left hand side, I am, dash, I like, dash, dash. On the right hand side, my friend is, dash, my friend likes, dash, dash, are written. Now, tell your classmates about your friend. You may take help of the cues given below. My friend and I like to play. Both of us want, dash. I like to dash but my friend likes to dash we are different as she or he is dash and i am dash page number 51 let us write write six sentences about your friend with the help of the facts collected in the above task mention how you are not only similar but also different. You may take help of the words given below. Same, both, neither, different, still, nor, and, like, either, but, unlike, or. Let us explore. 1. The story, The Elephant and the Dog is found in the Jataka tales. These stories are ancient Buddhist stories of life values and wisdom. These stories have been told from one generation to the next for over 2,000 years. Find and read another Jataka story. 2. Elephants have historically held significant roles in Indian culture, spanning history, warfare, religion, festivals and more. However, Contemporary ecological challenges have strained the relationship between humans and elephants. Have a discussion in the class. 3. Given is a news report from an elephant sanctuary in the United States about a real-life friendship between an elephant and a dog. The elephant's name is Tara and the dog's name is Bella. Bella came inside a forest for elephants and became Tara's friend. 
Tara spent most of her time with Bella. One day, Bella had an injury, so she could not walk. She was kept inside a building for three weeks. Tara stood outside for three weeks. Finally, they met and were very happy. Purvi, you were just listening to this audiobook. Textbook of English for Grade 6. Narration, Babla Kocher and Richa Sayal. Technical Coordination, Bati Langlingdo. Sound Recordist, Manju Kumari. Assistance in Production, Soumya Malik. Directed and produced by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET NCERT, New Delhi, India.